the SIG 1911-22. Let's check it out. Today we're going to take a look at the SIG 1911-22. Uh, these were actually produced by GSG, which is German Gun Sports, which SIG bought back in 2013. Very popular rimfire replica making firearm company. I mean, they make a lot of different guns. The 1911 is really an excellent gun by GSG. Now SIG had these commissioned and honestly, they just didn't sell that well. Uh, maybe it was because the price was considerably higher than the GSG guns and yet you're getting a GSG. But definitely a perfect companion, especially if you have a 1911 for this little 22. It's a lot of fun to shoot. The controls are all the same. It has some heft to it. The recoil is super light and the ammunition cost is so low. So guys, I came across this at a local gun show. I saw it on the table, SIG 22. I said, I gotta have it. You guys, it's definitely a beautiful firearm, especially if you like 1911s. And again, it's just really easy, cheap to shoot, low recoil. This is just an excellent companion for a 1911. And then with the SIG quality, uh, even though these are made by GSG and now SIG owns GSG, you know, they, they made them to the specs that SIG offered. So a lot of great features on this. But first thing, let's go ahead and drop our magazine comes with a really good high quality magazine. Uh, these are available still from GSG for around $16, $17. So they're not very expensive. You do have your loading right here on the sides. You can bring that down. And then I believe this is for your last round bolt hold open. But this actually also is easy to get a hold of to load your rounds into this magazine. A good steel magazine. Now it does have one of the magazine disconnects, so we have to put the magazine back in to operate the firearm. And there are a number of different safeties on this handgun. Uh, you have your frame safety, which is ambidextrous, which makes it kind of nice. We have our grip safety here, which is standard, but it is a very high ride beaver tail. We also have a firing pin safety, and you have a quarter notch safety with this hammer. Now the hammer is really nice. Uh, it's a, a spurred commander style skeletonized hammer but you'll notice how high the beaver tail comes up so when you're bringing it back you know you've got to get over that little bit of a lip and we're going to drop it we don't want to drop it on an empty chamber with it being rimfire uh, it does have a skeletonized trigger i mean there's a lot of great features on this firearm kind of upgraded features to your standard 1911 rosewood grips with the diamonds now the slide and frame are alloy material and when you bring back your slide, I mean it is really easy to bring back. Uh, and of course that allows it to fire you know, your 22 rim fire. One thing that SIG says or GSG is that you need to use high velocity ammunition. It's one of the things we found out at the range. The first day we went we took some CCI mini mags and it just was flawless. Um, once we put in some, tested some other kind of standard velocity, we did have a few hiccups. So you want to make sure that you do stick with your high velocity 22. And CCI mini mags to me are the best. Uh, very consistent. Five inch barrel, which is steel. It is a blowback design and the barrel is actually fixed. We'll look at that when we break it down. And the breakdown is a little different. And of course, we'll look at that as well. Uh, it does have the mainspring housing that is arched. And guys, this beaver tail really allows you to get your hand really up onto the firearm. Your sights are a three-dot sight. They're kind of a yellow. They're probably luminescent. Uh, but from what I understand with the models, they came with a couple of different front sight variations and possibly rear sights. These are dovetailed, and they're not staked in like your standard 1911, so you can remove these fairly easy if you want to change your sights out. Now, one of the things about this firearm, and it may have been because 
it was fairly used is that the slide had a little bit of play in it and uh, you have some side-to-side -side play and even here at the muzzle and this really aids in accuracy having a decent fit with your barrel bushing uh, one other issue that we found is that while you do have a threaded barrel and uh, there's a wrench that comes with this that you can take this off but this actually turns uh, it was actually screwed out just a little bit and that may have also affected some of the accuracy because we didn't get stellar accuracy out of the firearm but from what I've heard it gets fairly decent accuracy uh, when it's new so you know that's just something to consider and you only get one magazine with a pistol but again they're very reasonably priced and I thought just for fun we brought out the Browning 1911-22 it's an 85% 1911 this thing is light tiny but it is a lot of fun to shoot at the range and honestly the price is probably about the same between the two but this is more of your standard government model there's not a lot of extra features to it which with the SIG you do have a, this high ride beaver tail and you can see just a lot of different extras but uh, this is really a lot of fun just to take out to the range we did a full review on getzone.com and I'll have a link down below in the description but uh, I really love this little firearm but as far as getting that 1911 feel it's kind of hard to beat the SIG and the weight is 34 ounces and honestly guys I could have brought out a 1911 to compare it but it's just the same everything is pretty much just like your standard 1911 or one that's been upgraded somewhat it just gives you a lot of those features that I like uh, you know I don't necessarily care for ambidextrous safety because I'm not left-handed but honestly if I'm shooting weak hand I can bring in that safety very easily and guys honestly you need to train with you know your left hand because your right hand can be incapacitated also shooting one-handed is definitely something that is great to train with using a 22 long rifle in that it really helps your technique now we're going to be shooting mainly cci mini mags because they say that high velocity 22 is the best but we're going to try out some federal and some green tag 22 from cci just try some different ones We had two range days with the SIG 1911-22. Uh, first with CCI Mini Mags, which ran flawlessly. Uh, the high velocity of the CCIs just really showed through, and really what SIG recommends for this handgun. Uh, unfortunately, I shot all my CCIs, so on the second range day, I took down some Winchester 20, M22 and some Federal Match. Uh, the Federal Match, you know, we had a couple of issues with the first couple of rounds coming out of the magazine, but then it started to feed. Uh, with the M22, it fed really well. We had a couple of malfunctions. So if you're going to buy something like this, you need to make sure you have that higher velocity ammunition. And to be honest with you, CCI Mini Mags, I, I really trust those. Uh, as far as recoil, there is none. I love taking a 22 out to the range and just, you know, it's low recoil, low report, inexpensive to shoot, and usually you have a lot of ammo and we did we shot a lot of ammo through this uh, i'm very pleased with the way it functioned uh, you know i don't like the magazine disconnect and one reason why is because if the hammer's back and you've got to mess with it and all of a sudden you remember uh, but everything else it just feels like a 1911 it's got the same heft same weight and yet when you pull that trigger it's just like a little butterfly <laughs> very easy to shoot and really uh, just a pleasure to take to the range. And then of course with SIG quality, even though they didn't make this pistol, uh, they put their name on it and obviously it's really up to high standards. And it's definitely a beautiful firearm. But as far as just taking a 22 out to the range, it's acceptable accuracy and it's just a lot of fun, especially with first time shooters, this would be great. Especially those guys that like to play Call of Duty with their 1911. We're going to check the trigger pull action and we're going to pull back the hammer a little bit of take up right here and a nice break single action triggers are usually very nice it does have a adjustment right here where you can adjust the over travel let's check the trigger pull weight with our lineman trigger gauge we got to depress the grip safety four pounds 12.7 ounces four pounds 15.6 ounces 
Now disassembly is pretty close to the 1911, but there are some differences. We're gonna drop out our magazine and check to make sure the gun is unloaded. Now here you'll notice there are three pins on the other side. This one does have a head for a Torx wrench. Uh, it is provided when you buy the pistol new, but this one didn't come with it. We're using one of the number eights. Let's go ahead and remove this pin. It is aluminum, so you want to be careful not to strip it. Next, you want to go ahead and bring back your slide to this little second notch, and you want to just pull out your slide stop, pushing it from the other side, and this is just like on your 1911. Next, you'll see there's a pin right here, and from the other side, we're just going to push it through, and it'll pretty much fall free. Now just remove your slide from the frame. Now here we have a standard barrel bushing with your recoil uh, plug, and we're gonna go ahead and turn it. You wanna turn it clockwise, and then just release the spring. Then we can just bring out our guide rod and recoil spring. Definitely different than your standard 1911. Then bring the bushing all the way around, and then pull it out. There is a small notch right here that locks into this inside of the slide. Then we're going to bring our barrel out of the front of the slide. And you'll notice this is definitely different than your standard 1911. But the barrel does go back into the frame just like this, and so it is fixed to the frame. Man, this slide is super lightweight. Here you can see some of the detail of the inside of the slide. But guys, I'm telling you, this thing is just featherweight. You have full slide rails on either side. The frame is heavy. I mean, it's fairly hefty, and this is what gives you that extra weight. And so guys, while it's a little different than your 1911, there's a lot of similarities, and this is all you need to do to field strip. We're gonna bring back in our barrel, going in from the front of the slide, and we're gonna put in our recoil spring and guide rod. Now we take our recoil spring plug, get it into place, now there are two little notches on the recoil spring plug. Make sure you depress this all the way in. Bring your barrel up and go ahead and put your uh, barrel bushing in all the way down. It's a little tricky at first to get this. Honestly, I grabbed one of my wrenches because it's just difficult to pull around. There we go. Man, that is a little bit difficult. I needed my wrench to be able to get this set. So when you're putting that back in, Really, it's binding up a little bit with the plug. But once you get it around, you can do it. But I highly recommend one of these. Let's put it back over the slide. Now, I want to make sure that these holes are lined up right here in the frame. And you want to slide in that pin first. Just like that. Then we bring back our slide to hit that notch. And then just replace this little screw. You want to get it just finger tight. You don't want to strip the screw. Then we'll go ahead and check for function. Place our magazine. And we're back in business. That's a little more difficult than a 1911, mainly because of these pins. And this barrel bushing was a little tough, but uh, it's definitely doable. Now the price on these runs about $360 or above. According to what model you get, uh, there's a number of different colors that these come in, Cerakote colors, barrel lengths. Actually, they have a subcompact model as well. But uh, if you're looking for a good companion for your 1911 and you want that low recoil and you want to shoot a lot cheaper, uh, I think this is a great option. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
is just nice to have. I love that. Need to pull back. Oops, crap. Uh, with the Winchesters, we had good. SIG 1911-22, let's check it out. 